I'm Dr. Ukar from Pakistan and on this channel I make videos to educate pet parents, pet owners and young veterinarians for better health management and welfare of the pets. Uh, in today's video I will be talking about the toxic effect of the lily plant for the cats. Um, lily is so much toxic to the cat that the plant and the cat cannot live in the same place. We'll be discussing how much toxic is the lily to the cat. Uh, how the cat can ingest the lily plant and um, what kind of clinical signs uh, can appear on the animal and uh, how can we manage this toxicity. First question is how much toxic is lily to the cat. Uh, lily plant is so much toxic to the cat that it can cause the death of the animal within 72 hours of the acute toxicity. Um, actually if untreated is the severe damage to the cat's kidney and uh, Kidney is one of the vital organs. If the kidney is damaged and destroys, the death is sure. So the question number two: How the uh, the cats can ingest the lily? Um, cat can 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 prey upon on, on the rat or any other rodent who has just ingested the plant. So uh, this can cause the acute toxicity. Similarly, um, the cats can directly ingest them or inhale their pollens, then sneeze them, then then eat them again. Similarly, uh, the cats can um, ingest the parts of the lily plant which are present on their fur or their hair coat. As far as the clinical signs are concerned, um, most importantly, the cat will be depressed, the cat will not be eating anything and uh, most importantly, there will be vomiting. Um, so there are three clinical signs uh, that will appear within within two three hours of uh, the ingestion of the lily. Um, uh, but if the toxicity prolongs for uh, some period for 24 hours, um, the more severe signs like uh, swollen face, this is a sign of general sign of allergy and toxicity. Um, the swollen paws and uh, uh, the nervous sign so if the nervous sign appears um, the um, the prognosis is very poor the, there are very less chances of the survival how can we manage the problem uh, yes if you know that the cat has just ingested the lily plant so the first thing you can do at home is uh, to induce the vomiting to decontaminate the animal to de uh, detoxicate the animal so uh, for that uh, you can use washing soda you can take one teaspoon of the washing soda and directly throw it into the throw into the mouth of the animal so uh, deep into the mouth so um, that can um, induce vomiting within minutes so uh, the cat will be uh, detoxified but that doesn't mean you should not go to a veterinary hospital you should immediately rush to the hospital um, for the other uh, for the other three steps because you cannot do them at home the second thing you can do at home is uh, to use the activated charcoal activated charcoal basically uh, it absorbs the it absorbs the toxin so you can use about uh, 8 to 10 gram of the activated charcoal for a cat for an adult cat and mix it with about uh, one gram charcoal in four to five ml water and make a slurry and then you can um, make the animal drink it uh, in case of fits or nervous signs when the animal is in seizure you cannot do this uh, you just have to go to the hospital but uh, um, these two things the number one is the you can induce the vomiting if the hospital is far away and number two is uh, you can um, uh, you can give the activated charcoal uh, only these two things can uh, help you at home uh, but you have to you have to go to the hospital um, because the other three steps they they will have to uh, perform at the hospital and one of them is the fluid therapy um, and the veterinarian this is also for veterinarians who are under the training so um, they will give uh, uh, first they will um, and they will give the fluid fluid therapy is about 4.4 uh, to 5 m ml per kg per hour uh, this is the speed and this should be continued for about to 48 hours uh, continuously uh, because we have to detoxify the animal um, and uh, for that purpose we will have to to aim to go for extensive fluid therapy 
and we say uh, and diuresis so um, this will help uh, we have to go for the gastric lavage so you you know that that putting the animal in the anesthesia and then um, then nasogastric tube uh, passing and then we can we can um, inject some some normal saline and then uh, using the gravity we can put all the condition all the things out for treatment purpose i said uh, the three things number one is uh, induce the vomit uh, to to detoxify the animal decontaminate the animal first of all clean the animal number two induce the vomiting number three um, go for the activated charcoal and then when you go to the hospital there are three other steps number one is the uh, the um, what we say fluid diuresis means uh, they will go for the fluid therapy mainly they will go for the gastric lavage or sometimes cathartics cathartics as well uh, these drugs uh, they will cause the diarrhea to the animal so that the um, the content is passed away and the third thing is uh, what they will do there is to adjust the food because uh, uh, due to the uh, due to the problems of the gastric lavage and uh, and vomiting uh, they will have to adjust the diet and uh, that is the, the, the third most important thing because uh, animal will have to go in the intensive care for about 48 hours so during that period they will adjust or they, they will adjust the diet and then they will also recommend something so mm, this is all about the lily toxicity that the first thing was um, we said we we talked about how uh, much toxic is the lily plant to the uh, cats and the second thing we talked about is uh, um, how the, the cats can uh, can ingest the, the lily and the third thing is what kind of clinical signs are there and the fourth thing was uh, the treatment so um, if you um, need any uh, any video on any other uh, topic as well to, you can contact so i will make those videos and to educate this is my um, goal thank you so much